Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this council meeting of the City of Vader. The date is September 10th, 2020, and the time is 6.01 p.m. Roll call. Donna Rogers. Here. Jason Daly. He's not coming. He had to work. Right, we did hear from Mr. Daly. Um, he had an emergency that he had to fill in at, uh, his, at his uh, place of business, so he will not be attending. Randy Hall. Here. Mike Parsons. Here. Samantha Lovelady. Here. Mayor Scheid. Here. All right, Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Parsons, will you do the honors? Yep. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Mayor's report. Um, I wanted to let everyone know that we are pursuing some options for a Vader Small Business Relief Program utilizing CARES Act funds. Uh, you may have heard of um, a couple of our cities being able to use their CARES Act funds um, to help out distressed businesses. Um, if you remember, we were given $25,000 um, and just recently we were notified that it's been expanded to another with another $5,000 for a total of $30,000. Um, those Funds have to be used for COVID-related expenses. The, um, the strings are, are very tight on that money. So we can't just use it for anything we want. However, um, helping out other businesses um, could be um, a use. The city of Centralia has just um, finished their, pro got their program going, and you probably heard about Tenino being able to do it as well. So um, I'm hoping to have um, get some traction on that and have um, perhaps hopefully a resolution at the next council meeting for you um, to approve. <clears throat> sure, there's been a lot of uh, action around the Shoreline Master Plan update. Um, we did get, a, if you remember, we did get a grant to pay for that update. Um, municipalities are required every um, several years, I think it's seven or eight years, something like that, to apply, um, update that plan. We are a little late on that. Um, we also need that updated for the wastewater treatment facility um, since it does um, it is so close to the Oloqua. So once again, that's all um, grant funded. Um, we're going to have to have public hearings and, and um, things like that in the future. So you can expect that. Um, McMurphy security system, uh, we do have some of the parts already. Um, there's a few more pieces coming. Um, we'll be getting that up soon. Um, I'm also exploring some options to get internet down there at the park. Um, if that happens, we'd be able to wire the cameras in and be able to ac access them in real time from City Hall. Um, but I'll be ha I'll, hopefully I'll have more information about that for you as well. Um, Alpine Court Lift Station. <clears throat> some of you may be, a may be aware that our sewer facility does have a lift station um, down on Alpine Court. Um, it is lower than our our um, sewer lines that are on 10th. <clears throat> and so back in the day, they installed um, some pumps um, to get that uh, effluent up the hill. Those pumps are failing. Um, there's electrical issues. Um, and so we're looking at possible grants or other funding options to connect um, Alpine Court to the south down to Park Road where we could um, just use a gravity feed system and remove the lift station completely and <clears throat> save that expense in, in the future. Uh, wastewater treatment plant upgrade. Um, we're still on track for a mid-late November bid process. Um, you should have had the Civil West update letter in your packet, um, so you can stay up to, up to speed on that. Um, they are going to be giving us an update pretty soon, um, and so in, in a council meeting, so you should have that uh, to expect. Um, as requested at the last council meeting, the wastewater collection system map, um, we did acquire a digital copy of that from Gibson Olson, who did the, um, who made that map years ago, and uh, it's online now on the city website on the municipal reference library. Um, reminders at the planning committee, next meeting is on the 17th, and the park board meeting, the next meeting is on the 16th. 
Uh, one other thing for the mayor's report. Um, on August 19th, uh, Elena Knight um, resigned from the park board. Um, it is one of the two vacancies now that we have on the park board. Um, she resigned. She just has. She was just overwhelmed with other endeavors, um, and so she just needed uh, more time to herself. So, uh, just always a reminder that we always have positions available um, on our boards. Usually, um, there's two on the park board right now, and one on the planning committee. Council reports. I just wanted to, uh, real quick, um, give everybody a heads up that the. Public Information Emergency Management Division of Washington um, said that there's a massive cloud of smoke outside of California and Oregon and the wind is changing direction and it's coming your way tomorrow. You have today to prepare, let your family and friends know, get supplies and create a box fan with filters uh, that air around you. The video shows you how to do it. Um, get any essentials. So, the smoke is going to really be bad tomorrow, is what uh, the emergency management division is saying. Okay, that's good to know. Any other council reports? All right, agenda approval. Um, I do have some modifications to the agenda. Um, item, t item two. Council to consider authorizing an additional hundred dollars to the thousand dollars previously approved. Um, that should read differently. The city council um, approved four hundred dollars for a laptop, and I'm seeking um, a, a, an eleven hundred dollars total. So um, please adjust that uh, appropriately. Um, it should read something similar to council to consider authorizing eleven hundred dollars for a laptop. Also, I'd like to add item number three, council to consider recommendation for temporary public works employee. Does anyone else have any additions? I'll make a motion to approve the agenda with the added um, with the added stuff that the mayor just said. Mr. Parsons has made a motion to approve the agenda um, with the modified agenda. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Seconded by Ms. Lovelady. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Minutes approval. I'll make a motion to approve the city council meeting minutes for 8-27-2020. We have a motion by Mr. Parsons to approve the um, city council meeting minutes from August 27th. Do we have a second? Seconded by Ms. Rogers. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Voucher approval. I'll make a motion to approve the vouchers for the beginning of September 2020 for $27,065. We have a motion by Mr. Parsons to approve the vouchers for the amount as written. Do we have a second? I second. Seconded by Mr. Hall. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, special reports. We have a special report from Lewis County Sheriff's Department. Sergeant Engelbertson is here. He is stepping up to the microphone. <clears throat> oh yeah, that works. Can you hear me online okay? We can hear you. Okay. 
Uh, Kevin Engelbertson with the Lewis County Sheriff's Office. I have a report for August 2020. Uh, we had 522 citizen contacts. We had a total of 24 calls for service. Seven of those calls were while we were on scheduled shifts. The other 16 were we responded to while not on scheduled shifts. We had 16 traffic stops resulting in only looks like one traffic infraction and we had one felony arrest during that time. Uh, does anybody have any questions on the stats for August? The only other thing I'd like to, uh, I told the uh, mayor before the meeting started that I know uh, there's been some work done on uh, notifying a subject at the end of uh, Park Place of uh, some uh, vehicles and such that were on city property, which he was served uh, some letters on recently. I just went by there uh, tonight and uh, notified the mayor that it looks like all of the vehicles and debris is being cleaned up, so that's, that's good. Um, I'm also really glad to hear that you guys are talking about getting some cameras down at the park. I think that will really deter people from uh, vandalizing the park and at least give law enforcement some teeth and some evidence to uh, cite and possibly arrest anybody who wants to come down there and damage McMurphy Park. So uh, that, that, that will be a good thing in the long run, I think. Any questions for me? How many nights did the felony <clears throat> stay in jail? And the reason I ask that is because coming up is our budget time and we always talk about getting our own police force or whatever and a lot of people don't realize that when somebody goes to jail we get to pay for them. Or we, or, or we would it's, if we didn't have we the current would, contract. It's, yes, it's covered in our contract the way it is right now. I can, I can find that out. I don't know how long he spent in jail. Um, I think I've mentioned this before in the past, though. I know right now, uh, especially the last about month and a half, myself and one of my other detectives, uh, he has been working full time on the trial coming up for the uh, Jasper, the four-year-old. You know, one of them was able to pull their guilt, withdraw their guilty plea, and that's all he has been working on is that case. So it's cases like that that can really uh, hinder your budget if you guys were to deal with that, but obviously if we had something like that in the future, I think the sheriff's office would step in anyway and, <clears throat> and assist you guys. So I'll find out about how long he spent in jail. I don't have that. I can find out on my computer. Perfect. Thank you. Any other questions online? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sergeant. All right, moving on to city business. Council discussion on sewer ordinances. <clears throat> um, I'd like this to be the, um, hopefully this could be the last discussion we have on this. Um, I have not sent our recommendations um, to the attorney yet to be in included in the code. Um, so um, hopefully you all got to see that uh, document that I sent you that summarized the recommendations. And um, if there's any other th things you'd like to talk about or add on, um, now's the time. Well, I have a question about number three, <clears throat> about the, uh, perhaps removing that one. I, um, I have an issue with the garbage and the human waste. I don't think that should be removed at all because okay. we, ha we're having a lot of trouble with people hoarding garbage and, um, not having it picked up or paying for it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, another issue I'm bringing up about that is because in all the years I've lived up here, I have never, ever seen a rat. My cats killed two of them this month up here. So the rats are spreading now all over town. And um, some of it could be because of uh, maybe 
I don't know, a lot of people have chickens and things like that. Maybe we should have something where people need to keep them in airtight containers, their food. But the um, human waste, I think, should be part of uh, having an ordinance against that, <laughs> the properties, and uh, garbage. Uh, oh, okay. The animal... Pardon? Okay, yeah, so those items that, that are listed there in my notes, the uh, item number three, um, yeah. you don't have a problem with those. Pardon? You don't, you, you, so just for clarification, you do not have a problem with those being in the, in the code as written. Well, the garbage and human waste, and I'm not sure about the animal because we were discussing fertilizer. Okay. Um, it, it, so maybe it should be specific. Uh, you can have fertilizer for your gardens and things, but not just. Okay, I'll make sure to get yeah, clarification I, on that. Yeah, I know what you do because you got people around here that we've got sheep and and chickens and pigs and dogs and cats and you name it. So animal excrement is going to be on the ground. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wanted to let you know, Donna, that I did look up um, the appeals process that you were um, trying to mention at the last council meeting. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I, I looked at, I found that article and looked it up. Um, it was the administrative appeal process must now be offered for required septic to sewer conversions. So in, 2000, right. so in 2015, uh, cities, towns, and counties are now required to offer an administrative appeals process with septic repair or replacement of existing single family system, excuse me, when septic repair or replacement of existing single family systems is denied by the local health department and sewer hookup is required. So. In essence, if someone required a septic, the health department denied it, um, it actually gets kicked back to the local municipality to provide the appeals process for that. Um, it's a Washington state law. Um, I don't think we need to add it to our, to our ordinance because it's already a Washington state law, but I'll make sure to get clarification on that with the attorney um, when I send that to her. Right. I, well, I didn't mean for you to particularly add it. I just wanted to uh, bring it to everybody's attention that there is a state law that kind of covers that. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it is a, it is a, uh, I guess, a, a right, you would say, um, of, a, yeah. of a family to be able to ask for an appeal. Right. Yeah, that was the impression I got also. Okay. <clears throat> Any other discussion on these sewer ordinances? <clears throat> Not from me. I think that was all I had was to... Okay. If no one has anything else, um, I'll, I'll, at this next week, I'll get these sent off to the attorney so that we can have them uh, put into, the, into a new draft for council approval at the next council meeting. Okay, <clears throat> hearing no other discussion, uh, moving on to item two of city business. If I can get my laptop to display it correctly. There we go. <laughs> of all things to, to have happen on number two. That's right, ha, huh. yes. Uh, item number two, council to consider authorizing Eleven hundred dollars for a laptop. So, um, no. as it's been eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars for a laptop. Oh. Uh, so uh, as so at the, la at the previous council, one of the previous council meetings, we authorized four hundred dollars, um, and uh, it's been a challenge lately to find a laptop for that price that's of acceptable quality. Um, with further research, we found that technology to assist cities and dealing with the COVID crisis and providing, providing the technology to do that is covered through the CARES Act. So this laptop could be covered um, through the CARES Act to provide um, 
this service that we're using it for, which is to provide, to, to run the city council meetings. So it's fully re reimbursable. Um, and so um, that will be more than enough to, to, to get a, a quality machine um, for the city. If it's fully reimbursable, does the park board and the uh, planning board need one also? So we were, we were discussing that option. Um, could we perhaps get laptops for an entire council or committee that they could check out from City Hall? And I think the answer is yes. Um, the CARES Act provides funding to help your employees telework. So if the city employees needed to stay home, we could use reimbursable, those reimbursable funds to buy them machines to do that, even provide internet access at their homes. Um, however, um, given that we're going to try to utilize the funds for um, the small business grants, I'd rather not spend several thousand dollars on laptops for everybody since everyone seems like they're getting along just fine without them. Um, and try to use that money to give back to the to the businesses. Well, may I say something about that? I, yes. Uh, uh, if there are people, anyone who has a problem using their phone or something like that, you know, those little tablets you can get for a couple hundred dollars that are just as good as a laptop for eleven hundred for something like this for meetings only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if, if anyone's having issues with, with the technology side of things, we can definitely um, use CARES Act money to, to get something. Um, at this point in time, it seems like everyone is, is, is getting along without it. We could add that to the agenda at the next meeting if, you, if you'd like. Or I don't think we need to buy anything more but just a single laptop, at least for now. Maybe talk to Park Board and Planning Committee, see if they really think they need one, but one well, should I, suffice, right? It, one should suffice, and they can, use, they can all use the same computer, the same laptop that we're buying. Sure, yeah, it could absolutely be checked out for, for different reasons. That's all I had. So you're sure you can get a decent laptop for eleven hundred dollars right now? Yeah, you priced one out and yeah, got the, one in your mind. Yeah, they're actually okay. they're actually about eight hundred for a really good machine that I found, um, and so this will cover okay. that and plus the tax, and there'll still be money left over. Right, and are we looking at like a protection plan and everything for that as well? Just because I'm thinking about that end of this. Um, I to could make sure that laptop I, run. Sure, I could see if, if that fits, fits in the in that budget. Um, I could add that on there. I just think it would be something that wouldn't hurt if it's a hundred or two hundred dollars extra to keep an eleven hundred dollar machine running. Sure. Do we need that in a motion? Absolutely, it needs to be in a motion. Oh, I'll make a motion that we authorize eleven hundred dollars. Hopefully, reimbursable re through the CARES Act for the purchase of a new laptop. You have a motion by Mr. Parsons to approve eleven hundred dollars for um, a city laptop. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second I'll from Mr. <clears throat> Mr. Hall. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, last item of business. Council to consider recommendation for public works employee. I am trying to find. Okay, so hopefully um, some of you have gotten a chance to see the letter that was sent. So just today I, I conducted this interview, um, which is why it was uh, added so late. So after many weeks of waiting, we received one application for our temporary public works employee position. After completing a face-to-face -face interview, I can say that Jesse Weimer is qualified for the position. In addition to his experience in groundskeeping and maintenance, Mr. Weimer comes with the added experience of having completed an apprenticeship for water and wastewater operation in the city of Winlock. Mr. Weimer is professional, well-spoken, and friendly. 
I am pleased to submit him to you for your consideration and confirmatory vote. So if you remember the city council <coughs> approved um, 11 weeks um, uh, for a temporary employee. And so um, this is the gentleman that uh, has applied and he's gonna be uh, a great fit. Perfect. So you need that in the motion too? Let's do a motion. Okay, to make a motion that we approve the hiring of Jesse Weimer. Mm -hmm for the position listed. We have a motion by Mr. Parsons to approve the hiring of Jesse Weimer for the Public Works employee temporary position. Do we have a second? I second. Seconded by Mr. Hall. Any other discussion? Good. Will he be offered in the future um, a position for the uh, sewer? Yeah, if, if that position were to come available, um, I think it's great that we have um, this contact. Um, like I said, he's completed his apprenticeship, and this is the type of position that these um, folks are looking for when they finish. So uh, it would be it would certainly be something um, we could look into if that ever arose. Well, he lives a whole lot closer than the other gentleman, and we probably wouldn't have to pay him mileage and time coming and going. Certainly a possibility, but this is, of course, this is just for the public works, uh, the temporary position. Um, with his experience, um, it's going to be great that, for instance, we have some vacations coming up. You know, if, if Bill is, is, is out, um, Jesse has the right. experience to, to, do, to do that lab testing for us um, in, with his uh, certification. So. Very good. And I believe, Donna, also, just an FYI, that we don't pay him to come and go. Pardon? I didn't quite understand what you said. Um, for Bill, um, we, I believe that we do not pay him to travel here and travel home. He's doing that on his own. <laughs> okay, well, I know we pay his mileage. No, I don't believe we do. We do not pay his mileage. He's an hourly employee. We do when he's on work-related trips. Right. So Diana, okay, well, Diane was I just pointing out that... There. Yeah, no. Diane was just pointing out that if he goes on work-related trips, for instance, if he goes to um, pick up some supplies, um, he does get mileage for that. But he doesn't get mileage on a daily basis uh, driving to his home in the city. Okay, I was thinking he was getting mileage because it's on there some. Okay, I'm good. All right, we have a, a first and a second on the table <clears throat> to approve Mr. Weimer's employment. Do you have any other discussion on this? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. And we'll get him going as swiftly as possible. All right, moving on. Uh, public comment. Does anyone, there's no one, there's no members of the public online. And there's no one in the in city chambers is interested in talking, I don't think. So, okay, um, you're doing great. All right. Uh, moving on to elected official comment. Elected officials, this is your time. to give a quick note out to Vader families. Lunches are being made available again for kids 0 to 18 at the Vader Preschool and over on Enchanted Valley. Oh, these are the, so the school sure you go get your lunch. The school lunch programs? Yeah, so they're doing free lunches for kids 0 to 18 and they're available every day at 11:15 a.m. for anyone who needs one. Great. How long do we have to deal with that pump failure sewage thing? How long is that? What, how much, what's the time frame? <clears throat> the Alpine Court? Yeah. So we're just now, with the Alpine Court grant, uh, I, I'm just now talking with Ecology on trying to find funds and a program for that. So we're just in the, the initial stages of trying to get that going. So 
but um, John was talking about getting new pumps down there, and you know before we dump a bunch dump a bunch of money into the thing, let's see if we can get rid of it first. We can just buy a pipe. That would be a lot better. Mm -hmm. So, but it's probably going to be some time still before we can get this going. We'll continue to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, well, we can that, continue to, yeah, we can That's why I was asking about the time. Yeah, yeah, we can continue. He, he goes down there on probably almost a daily basis to check on it to make sure it's still running. Mm -hmm. That way it's not backing up and okay. and um, things like that. I, so I just see that being a disaster. <clears throat> it could be. Yeah. One or more reasons to try to get rid of it. Yeah. Alpine Court has always been a problem since day one. When they first put that down there, Guy was the mayor. And they talked about running that um, pipe, uh, gravity feed, down through uh, Park Road. But there's a, there's a hill there or something, and they would have to bury the pipe so deep that it wouldn't do any good. So I don't know if that, they would have to put so much fill in there or something. It was a, a real problem, so that's why they never went that way. And I don't know if that problem could be remedied with um, people a little more savvy. Um, <laughs> right, it'll, yeah, I don't need to be engineered but, properly, and I imagine it's, a, it's not an unsurmountable issue. Um, looking at the uh, contour map online, um, looks like Park Road is about 15 feet lower than where the lift station is on Alpine, right. so, so, there is a, there, so there is a slope there. There's a park, there's a park that comes there um, down from Alpine Court behind all of the houses where it would have to come through. There's like a swale in there, and it was pretty deep, and uh, they wouldn't have been able to cover the sewer pipe going through there. That was the deal. I see. Yeah. So, well, we'll see. If we get a grant to help yeah. pay for the engineering of it, we'll, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Elected official comments. Any other comments? Okay. Hearing none, um, we've ended the agenda. So this meeting is over at 6.33 p.m. We are adjourned. Good evening, everybody.